most cutting edge photographers on this planet. One of the most cutting edge photographers. Cutting edge image. Visionary photography. Get ready, world. Sean Lee. When you need your image, take it to an entirely new level. So listen, did you all like that? There's a little bit of a slideshow. I didn't want to go through the whole thing, right? Rock that. So listen, um, did you all hear that? Greatest in the world, Sean Lee. Did y'all hear that? I, I thought that's some of the hottest stuff on earth, right? That was me doing the voiceover on that work. Um, but listen here, when, at the time when I had that music made was when I first started in photography. And let me tell you something, I didn't have a client in the world. Sean Lee, <laughs> right? Nobody would hire me, right? And so let me tell you, when, when we had this music made, I was getting tired of people discounting who I was. And so I got my education, I bought the camera equipment, which was not cheap, and then you set out to uh, price yourself at what you think you are valued at or what you think your worth is. And people would come to me and say, Sean, why are you so high? or they would compare me to a big box store that was charging $1.50 for an eight by 10. And I got angry. Somebody say angry. angry. I got angry. And so I had this music made in rebellion. I didn't have, nobody knew who I was, nobody would hire me, nobody wanted to pay me what I thought that I was worth, so I had this music made. Why? Because of Numbers 13 and 3 in the scripture. And it says in there, we saw the giants, the sons of Anak, which come of the giants, and we were in our own sight as grasshoppers, and so we were in their sight. Well, Sean, what does that mean? Well, God had promised the children of Israel um, the land of promise, and he sent in spies, and they went and spied out the land, and they came back with a bad report, and they said, listen, um, the land is good, but there's giants over there. But here's what this said. It says that we were in our own sight as grasshoppers, so we were in their sight. What's your point, Sean? People will see you how you see yourself. Hence, greatest in the world, Sean Lee. <laughs> Rock that. Let me tell you something. In my industry, in photography, things change all the time. Business models, right, equipment, all of those things change. The one thing that has remained constant with me throughout my entire career is my own attitude toward my own success. Rock that. What I submit to you all is that if you're going to be successful, it has to be because you have decided to be whether people think you should be or not. Bring the pain. So I say to you, failure is not an option. And so I took this photograph of a high school student who was pretty passionate about basketball back then. And so attitude is everything. And so keep this in your heart. Not that you go around um, grimming at everybody and making that face, but this should be something that you carry in your heart. Is that all right? Need is and always will be the biggest driver of innovation. And so in my need um, to be relevant, um, what happened was is that I ended up uh, along the line becoming this kind of lead of diversity for the professional photographers of America. It is the biggest trade organization in the world for photographers with 30,000 plus members in 54 countries. And me, this chunky, dark-skinned dude from Detroit, Michigan, is the diversity lead for that organization, right? <laughs> Rock that. Yeah, money. From that, I am an affiliate of the PPA and founded and started the Multicultural Association of Professional Photographers. So if there are any budding photographers out there, join, get your career on the map, baby. Rock that. That was a shameless plug. All right. Um, and so it is built around not just photography education, but also business inspiration, outreach, and community. Why? Because even though I am a professional photographer, it is how I make my living. I absolutely love people. I run my mouth. I love people. I will walk up to you in a second and give you a big old hug. Please do not be afraid. Rock that. 
right? And so just last week, um, we did this very first conference of mine. It is called the Rock That Photography Conference. Why? Because I say rock that all the time. It is my term. Um, it is my term for making life happen. And so what makes us pretty unique is that we brought here to Detroit, and you all may not know about it, um, some of the best uh, photographic talent in the world to Detroit to teach. Now, what makes that interesting, Sean? Because there are a lot of uh, conferences with a lot of talent um, coming to the scene. Well, what makes that extremely interesting is that um, we kept the barrier extremely low for those who really wanted to take part in it, right? It is my job to open up doors for people of color, right? Those of multiple nationalities, so that if they really want to do this as a career, we can make that happen. Is that all right? What makes us all so unique, oh, y'all can clap, I'm sorry. I talk a lot, rock that. What makes us all so unique, this conference that we just had last week, is that as a conference, I told you all that I love people, we do social good. As a conference, it was a point to partner with entities and do social good in my city in which I live right now. And so as a conference with the best speakers in the world there, this past week, we partnered with the NSO. And yes, big round of applause. We partnered with the NSO. We did 200 care packs for the Tumani Center and the NSO Bell Building, and we catered. We had catered in um, food for 160 residents of the NSO Bell Building, those that are going through transition, right? We had partnered with people like AFIA and the community, and as our photo walks were going on on Saturday, we had buses downtown Detroit with photographers all over the place. We had a separate crew of volunteers that were feeding the homeless um, at the NSO Bell Building. Rock that. Money. We also partnered with so many angels, Matt Myers and Angels of Hope, which is here locally. And what we did is an extremely cool project where Matt Myers, who is a photographer in the industry, and he's actually here tonight, um, takes photos of kids with cancer. And have, we have artists transform them into superheroes or princesses or sports icons, right? And what we did was the final closing night of the conference at our closing party, we presented those kids and their families with printed canvases, right? Rock that, give it up. Yeah, money rock that. Why? Why is that important? Because you never know where you may end up. And even though I am a photographer, at the end of the day, we serve people. And it is important to not just take imagery and talk shop talk and talk photography talk and talk about lenses and ISOs and all of that stuff. I want to talk about how do we give back to the community that raised me? This was very cool. This young girl has cancer and she was fighting cancer and I think she had been through her second bout with it and then they showed her her canvas and she started to cry and she was Wonder Woman. Money, look here, y'all, I'm getting ready to cry right now. Bring the pain. Austin, wanted to be a sports star, right? And then these parents, because the kid, their kid was three years old and it was a late night, and of course they couldn't bring him. Um, he was tired, he was sick, but we presented them with his canvas and they are criers. You see dad, dad's like, oh my God. And I was like, oh my God, dude, you cannot be doing this right here like that. Money, bring the pain. And he crying, he crying, crying, and I'm a cry crier too, right? And so boom, and then he was flash. Oh, money's the hottest stuff on the planet. And while that was significant, here is what I think is extremely significant. Um, while I am over time just a little bit, but I think that it's um, worth it, more than just the color of people. I am the CEO and president of the Multicultural Association of Professional Photographers. I love people. I don't care what you look like at the end of the day. And so we had our conference. And the white gentleman that you see sitting there is a gentleman, um, Jewish gentleman named Jason Group. He is one of the top influencers in the world in photography. 
He is CMO of Firefly Song Freedom and ran one of the largest conferences in the world called WPPI, 15,000 photographers annually in Las Vegas. And he spoke at our conference. Here's what's significant about this photograph. The lady that he is hugging, her name is Deborah Davis. This was last week, last Friday. Her name is Deborah Davis. Deborah's sister died that day. And Deborah came back to the conference. Why did Deborah come back to the conference when her sister just passed away? And I believe that it is because she had family at the conference. Jason had just announced during his talk that his wife was fighting breast cancer and had just had surgery. And he made his way to the conference. She had just had surgery and had made his way to the conference. And so what ended up happening was is that we stopped everything. People paid to be at this conference. They were there, but we stopped everything and we took a moment to start to pray. Why? Because people need it. People need it. We stopped photography education. We stopped going through the rigmarole and talking about lighting ratios and how to do the business of photography. And we stood there and we showed love. This is what is important. Somebody say rock that. Here is, here's what was cool about that, is that when we stopped and showed her love, we started to pray. And we prayed in Jesus' name. Here's what's significant about that. If you look at the picture of the black guy over on this, I don't know what side it is for y'all. Don't, don't mess around with me. You have Terrell Lloyd who's in there, who is the head photographer um, for the San Francisco 49ers. That's the level of talent that we have there in the place. And so we started to pray for Jason and for Deborah in Jesus' name. And there is a Lebanese lady running around here who was on the photography team who was Muslim, and she joined in on the prayer. And you say, well, wow, that's a whole lot of mishmash that maybe shouldn't be going on, going on. But at the end of the day, nobody cares about um, your career or your religion. You care about people. No matter what color they are. Rock that. So ladies and gentlemen, I submit to you, the greatest investment that you can make is the investment in people. Thank you. Rock that.